everyone has bad habits. Some of these are obvious such as smoking, drinking too much alcohol, eating junk food and so on. But there are some bad habits that you have formed over the years that you may not even realize are causing you harm. Some bad habits can prevent you from getting what you really want in your life. If you procrastinate a lot then this can really hold you back for example. Maybe you have some bad habits which are limiting your social skills or preventing you from getting that promotion at work that you desire. In this powerful report we will show you how you can identify your bad habits and then give you five proven ways to get rid of your bad habits for good. It will take time, effort and determination on your part to eradicate your bad habits but you can do it. It will truly set you free. What are your bad habits? If you don't know what all of your bad habits are, it is likely that you will know some of them then the best way to identify them is to ask yourself what they are. You may think that this sounds too simple to be effective but it really does work. Your habits are stored in your subconscious mind. If you want to know what is going on in your subconscious then the most effective way of doing this is to ask yourself the right questions. Your subconscious will be compelled to answer these questions for you. So get yourself a pen and paper and go to an area where you will not face any distractions. If the TV is on then turn it off. Put your phone into silent mode so that you are not totally out of contact the world. This is the most important question to ask yourself. What are my bad habits? Surely it is not that simple. Yes it is. You need to be committed to want to identify your bad habits. That is all your subconscious mind needs to provide you with with the answers. Don't do this in a half-hearted manner as you will not get the answers. You need to be determined to identify your bad habits so that you can break them. It doesn't matter what answers you receive, write them all down. If you have a long list of bad habits then don't worry you can break them all. Not receiving answers to the question is more concerning. Just focus on the question and keep asking yourself. Something will definitely turn up. The process of eliminating bad habits. There are many people that admit that they want to stop all of their bad habits but the problem is they don't really know how to go about this in the most effective way. They try different methods and find it to be a real struggle to rid themselves of their bad habits. In the most simple terms, a habit is a behavior routine that you repeat often that is triggered in your subconscious mind. Because your bad habits and good ones are rooted in your subconscious it makes it difficult for you to identify them. This is why the questioning technique for identifying your bad habits is so powerful. You are the sum total of your habits good and bad. To really eliminate your bad habits it is necessary for you to have some insight into how they originated. What you have to do here is to take a close look at your behaviors and identify the triggers for the bad habit. By doing this you can take small steps to gradually limit your indulgence in your bad habit. A good example of this is to cut down the number of cigarettes that you smoke each day. So if you regularly smoke 20 a day reduce this down to 19 then 18 and so on over a period of time. It is a good idea to do this on a weekly basis. So week 1 you will smoke 19 a day, week 2 18 a day etc. Having a regular milestone interval, such as a week forces you to work towards the next milestone. If you do this consistently over time then these small changes to your bad habit will help you to stop it altogether. If you have a craving for candy then work out how much candy you consume each day. Reduce this over time until you hardly eat any candy at all. The same goes for drinking alcohol and other BL this is not a perfect method but it does work. We recommend that you assume from the beginning that you may slip occasionally when you are using this method. If you do slip then don't beat yourself up. Focus on good habits. One of the most effective ways to break a bad habit is to deprive it of attention. When you focus all your attention on eliminating a bad habit, you will find that you spend most of your time every day watching what you do. It's really hard for you because you feel like you're depriving yourself of a pleasure you've enjoyed for a long time. After all, your good or bad habits define you. Instead of focusing on your bad habits and failings, promise to focus on new activities that will contribute much more to new good habits. Instead of trying to avoid the things that are wrong in your life right now, 
It's to direct all your energies towards good habits that will improve your life in different ways. This method works and is effective, but if you lose focus on your new empowering habits, you should always be on your guard as these bad habits can resurface. Whichever way you choose to break your bad habits, it will be extremely beneficial for you and will give you the motivation you need to keep going. What you need to do is strengthen your new habit loop. Please always bear in mind that breaking bad habits is going to require time and persistence. It will be a worthwhile journey for you but it certainly isn't going to be easy whatever method you choose. There will always be the temptation to return to the bad habit when those triggers kick in. Always see the big picture. The end result is what will keep you going as will those celebrations throughout your journey. You will feel totally liberated when you free yourself from your bad habits. So keep this in mind at all team is and keep persevering because it will be completely worth it.